back to my channel if you are just seeing my channel for the first time you are welcome make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so as to always get updates on the videos i drop on a daily basis and for my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you for always stopping by and watching my video god bless you greatly let's dive into today's teaching in our class today i'm going to teach you in details how to convert your linear ethereum to sui as we all know that m5 will be listing on oks and we are expected to have some gas fee sui gas fee in our wallets we nigerians can't have access to the oks exchange so we are to make use of the on-chain withdrawal so we are getting set and getting prepared for this so in preparation for this we are to get you into our wallets into our OKS wallet and you know before now we had already gotten in here Ethereum to our MinFi account so today for those of you that have gotten the Nine Ethereum into your MinFi account we are going to convert that your Nine Ethereum to SUI so you actually don't need to buy another uh, SUI for gas fee just make use of the one you already have then for those of you that have not gotten SUI yet into your OKS wallet I'm going to teach you how to do that how to get your SUI into your OKS wallet so let's go into today's class everybody so to begin with we are going to make use of two different apps we are making use of two different apps to perform these transactions but before then we will move to our MinFi wallet come to this part you can see the wallet at this top part click on your wallet once you click on your wallet make sure this your uh open wallet is highlighted like mine let me just divert a bit for those of you that yours is not highlighted there just go ahead and click on change wallet once you click on the change wallet you will reconnect your your me file to the oks wallet it's very simple so just make sure you do that then once you click on that your wallet you then come to this part that says main click on that main then this brings us to our me file wallet then this is the the Nina Ethereum I got before now, you can see it's now two dollar and some cents. Then we are here to copy our MinFi seed phrase. So you click on these settings here, click on that part. Then this is our secret phrase for our MinFi. So you go ahead to click to review phrase. Once you click to review phrase, you copy your phrase, then add to your OKS. Come here, add to your OKS. This is for in my OKS, we are doing this for those of you that are yet to import your MinFi account to your OKS wallet before now. Then now I'm in my OKS, then you are going to switch to the wallet, click on the wallet because we are making use of the Web3 wallet on the OKS. So once you switch to that, you can see that before now I had already imported my MinFi to my okay so that is why you are seeing the same amount and you can see it here neither ethereum you can see it here so for you people that are just importing it you just copy your seed phrase then add to this part click on this wallet part you can see click on that drop down once you click on the drop down then click on add wallets you can see i had already added some wallets click on the add wallet then you go ahead to click on import wallet after which you come to this part that says seed phrase or private key click on that part then you come to beware of scam keep your assets under control click the ok then you go ahead to impute your seed phrase you copied from your MiFi here make a paste here once you paste it then go ahead to confirm and import it then once you finish importing it you leave this part and come to the main interface and once you come to the main interface you will see your linear ethereum revealing here so the next we'll be doing after importing your linear ethereum to your oks we are going to move this linear ethereum from the oks wallet to our buy bit that is where we are doing the transaction today we are moving it to our buy bit so let's begin the process now the first you'll be doing is let's go to our buy bit right now i just got to my buy bit and once you get to your buy bit you add to this part that says deposit go ahead and click on the deposit i come to your deposit crypto once you click on your deposit crypto you go ahead and search come to this search bar click on that part then you search for your ethereum eth and once you see your ethereum you go ahead and click on you look at it here ethereum can you see click on your ethereum 
then it will ask you which chain type which network do you want remember we are working with the we want to make a transfer of nine ethereum so you come to this last part and click on the nine so you click on nine so this is your nine ethereum we are going to make a copy of this address can you see the address here we are making a copy of this nine ethereum from our bybit make a copy of it click here to copy it so after you finish copying it you add back to your OKS okay, to cop click on this Nine Ethereum. Click on it. Once you click on it, remember we want to send it out. So you click on the send. So receiving address, you go ahead to paste the address you just copied from your Bybit. After pasting it, go ahead to click on your confirm. So you go ahead to click on the maximum. Click here because I'm sending all my Nine Ethereum out. So you click on your maximum, then you come here to click on next. So you can see this is it, average, linear network free. This is what is going to charge me. Then this is what I will be getting. Then this, this, this. I'm sending from this to this. So you go ahead to click on the confirm. And you impute your password. So I just imputed my password and you can see transaction submitted. So you look at this part says send confirming so it's confirming and look at it i've been able to send my linear ethereum from my web3 oks to my bybit now let's head back to the bybit to now begin the work in proper come to your bybit and so right now i'm in my bybit so once you get to your bybit and you discover it has not dropped just go ahead to click on this your notification bell click on that notification bell to see what's going on with your transaction so you can see deposits confirmation in progress you have a deposit of this which is in the process of being confirmed so you can just click on the view more to see the progress then so you can see that it's still pending it's yet to be approved it's still uh, i think 72 blocks and it's still going to 150 blocks so i will have to wait for some minutes and so the transaction is successful and my ethereum has been dropped into my bybit exchange let's click on the assets go ahead and click on your assets and you can see it actually came into my funding click on this funding then you go ahead to click on this path look at it this is the ethereum i just transferred from my oks to my bybit but it entered into the funding account and we want to make use of the unified trading for the transaction so not to worry what we'll do right now is click back to the funding click back on the funding then you go ahead to click on your ethereum click on the ethereum that just came in that will just make a withdrawal onto the bybit then we are going to make a transfer go ahead to click on this to make transfer so we are making remember our ethereum is actually in our funding account and we want to move it from funding to the unified trading which is same thing as your spot so as for us to be able to trade it so you are going to make a switch click on this part to switch from this unified trading to the funding trading so you go ahead to click on that and now you can see that our funding account is up then the unified trading is now down then on default this is the ethereum so you go ahead to click on the maximum we are moving everything so you can see then after doing that you then click on your confirm and it will be moved to your unified trading accounts so transfer successfully so now let's leave this part and move to the unified trading so you can see it here this is it in our unified trading so what we are going to do right now is to sell off this uh ethereum we are selling off this nina ethereum to usdt hope you get it so what we'll do right now is to come to come to this your trade once you get to your trade come up here click here to switch from that not usdt to search for ethereum usdt look at it here it's actually here so you can either click on it or you search for ethereum eth it will bring it out for you you can see it's ethereum usdt you see it here so you go ahead to click on it once you click on it remember we are selling so you go ahead to click on the sell after which you then come to this part the quantity part and 
make a switch to drag it to 100% because we're actually selling all the Nini Ethereum. Drag it to 100%, then you go ahead to click on your sell Ethereum and it will the minimum order quantity cannot be lower. Oh my god. So you can see I tried selling it and it says the minimum I can sell is 0 0.00066. What I just did was to get a dollar worth of Ethereum to my buy bit because the $2 wasn't going through so I had to get what I did was I had USDT so I converted a dollar worth of USDT to to Ethereum. I just did it. What you just do is you just go ahead if you have usdt just go ahead to click on the usdt once you click on your usdt you go ahead to click on your convert once you click on the convert your usdt will be up your ethereum will be down then you click on the maximum for whichever if it is the maximum or just a dollar what you put it there then you click on the quote and that is how to convert it so that is it for that so now let's return back to our trade so as to trade this i uh, mean this three dollar ethereum so we return back then this is our ethereum usdt and you can see i'm having three dollar worth now and you make sure you drag this to the maximum after which you then go ahead to click on your sell ethereum and you can see it says as you sell ethereum then you go ahead to click on the sell and viola we just sold the ethereum we add to usdt then you go ahead to click on your assets click on the asset then come to once you click on your asset we just sold this then you click on that same unified trading once you click on the unified trading you can see my three dollars here this is my usdt so click on your usdt then you click on the convert just go ahead to click on your convert after clicking on your convert you come here look at it is on funding accounts go ahead to click on that drop down remember our usdt is on the trading unified trading click on the unified trading then once you click on it your asset will come here and we are having three dollar plus here so you go ahead to click on the maximum just come here remember to just come here and click on your sui we are selling from usdt to sui so you we are converting from usdt to sui so you search for your sui sui click on it then you click on the maximum and you can see so it says i'm going to get 0 0.96 for the 3.4 dollars i'm selling so go ahead to click on your quotes and confirm conversion so you go ahead to click on the conversion confirm the conversion and we are done with this conversion completed so go back to view assets so we've been able to convert our USDT right now to SUI. Let's go back from here. Come to your assets. Click on your assets. So you can see it here. Click on the uh, unified trading. You can see our SUI here. 0 0.9 and it's $3 worth. So what we are doing now that we've converted it to SWE, we are now going to move it from this buy bit back to the OKS. You know our MIFI is going to drop in our uh, OKS. So we are moving this SUI now back to our OKS. So let's go back to our OKS right now. So we are going to search for the SUI right now. So you go ahead to click on this part. Click on this part. Once you click on it, you search for your SUI. You can see it's click on it. So this is actually my SUI and go ahead to click on this part receive. I've switched to SUI there. You can see it. Then you click on your receive. Then you click on this part. Can you see we draw crypto from exchange? Click on SUI. So this is your wallet address. Go ahead to click on copy. So I just copied this. Now we are adding back to our Bybit. So right now I'm in my Bybit. So what you will do next is to come to your assets. Then this are uh, this are uh, swing. We are going to move it to the funding. We are done with the unified trading. So you click on that unified trading. You go ahead to click on your swing. Then you go ahead to click. Oh, you are going to make a transfer. 
So we are transferring it from the unified trading to the funding account. If your funding account is up and unified trading is down, just go ahead to click on this to switch it. So this is actually the right way to be, and this is a switch. So we are making just go ahead to click on the maximum then you go ahead to click on the confirm to transfer it to your funding account because we are going to make the transfer from our funding account so we've just done that after which you come back to your come back here go ahead and click on the funding then you can see your sui can you see it here then go ahead to click on it once you click on it, we are making a withdrawal. So you click on your withdrawal. And we are going to transfer from our Bybit to our OKS. And we've just copied the OKS Sui uh, wallet address. So you look at, go come here. This address, go ahead and make a paste of the address you just copied from your OKS. Paste it there. So after pasting it there, it says network type so you click on this part to click on your suite click on suite then uh, minimum withdrawal go ahead to click on the maximum after clicking on the maximum so we are transferring from we are withdrawing from the funding account then look at the gas fee i think okay the gas fee is about 0 0.2 suite and we are withdrawing you can see what we are withdrawing we are withdrawing 0 0.96 and they are taking off 0 0 0.02 so we'll be having 0 0.94 in our okay so you go ahead to click on the withdraw please do it accordingly it's actually very easy so once you do that it's asking you for security verification go ahead to click on your confirm then go to your google authenticator your email to copy the code let's do that now I'll, you click on your get codes for your email so i just completed the withdrawal withdrawal application submitted then you go ahead to view withdrawal history. So I just sent the SWE from my Bybit to my OKS wallet just like that. It's actually very simple, just like that. So you can see it here. This is the withdrawal. You see it says withdrawal in progress. So now let's head back to our OKS right now to await our SWE in the OKS wallet. So you hold on for it to drop. And Viola, we just got our SUI into our OKS wallet. It's actually very simple. I, uh, Minfi is listening today. Today, 22nd of November, 2024. So we are getting set for it. In the next few hours, Minfi will be listening and we are going to see the worth of the allocations that was given to us. Hope you find this video helpful, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like, turn on your notification bell for more updates on the videos I drop on a daily basis. Thank you, everyone, and remain blessed. Bye!